Mm -hmm. I'm Adrian, the owner of Breathless Getaways. And in this video today, we are going to talk about the top 10 mistakes that travelers make so that you can avoid them. So we are joined here with the incredible travel advisors at Breathless Getaways. And we are here to plan your group trips or your solo trips or your family trips to the Caribbean, Europe and beyond. So we are just going to jump right in, get your pen and paper, take down some notes because I'm going to drop some gems in this video. All right, we're going to start with number one with Gloria. Hi, number one, last minute deals no longer exist. Yes, I said it. It no longer exists. Back in the day, it was so much easier to find deals online. You can book like a month or a week or so. I had girlfriends that were doing that back in the day. Right. But now you cannot. Since COVID, a lot has changed. And I hope you've changed your mindset too. Because you can book your trip six months in advance where you can have more um, time to pick a room, be comfortable with the room that you pick and the trip prices or, you know, in terms of savings, you can save more too. Those last minute deals don't exist, y'all. Like how many times have you had it where you had a client that's like, I want to go away in a month. And then by mm -hmm. the time you go to select their flight, there's like a seat next to the bathroom and that's all that they have left. So book at least six months, I would say six to seven months in advance. Some people will book a year in advance, but you really get those good prices like six to seven months in advance. Hey everyone, my name is Alicia. So number two is your passport must be valid for six months, at least six months after your return date. And why you're asking? Because if you if it's not, they will not they're not even going to let you on the plane. That let's talk. Start with that. You will not go nowhere. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. The, all the money you just spent for the ticket for if you're, you're going to a hotel, car rental, all of it, it is gone if you do not check your passport. Um, I had a client who um she did a last minute type of um booking, went to the airport, found out that her passport was. It was um four months. It was going to be expired in four months. She could not get on that flight. She could not get on. They sent her back. She couldn't pass go. She didn't collect two hundred dollars. Sorry. Um, and I'm not laughing because it's, it's not funny. But what you just said was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the worst because I remember you told me she was going to an event in London. Yeah, she had a wedding to go to. Just the little note to yourself when you think about that trip. First thing to think about is passport. By the way, everybody, when you're traveling internationally, you need a passport. That's it. <laughs> Some people it's don't gone. know that, surprisingly. Like, oh, no. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, Mexico, yes, need a passport. Everyone check your passports. <laughs> Make sure what's on your passport matches what's on your airline ticket. Because that too, if, it's, if you have a middle name on your passport, mm -hmm. but you don't have... Uh, you put a middle initial on your flight ticket, they will turn you away because they see that as a different person. So check your passports, people. And with that, I'm going to go into number three, which is not having travel insurance. Travel insurance is so important. Like a lot of people feel like because they have health insurance in the U.S., it'll cover them when they go out of the country. And that's inaccurate. It's not true. So you need to have travel insurance when you travel, which will cover you for medical, for injury, God forbid, death. I actually had a client who booked a trip with his family and he was terminally ill. So they obviously booked with travel insurance. He just wanted to visit his country one last time, which was in Italy. And he passed away while in destination. And because he had travel insurance, obviously the travel insurance covered him to be medevaced back into the U.S. And um, he was in the hospital. It covered his hospital stay. So travel insurance is so important. Like I've had clients that have gotten injured in destination I've had clients that got stuck in a destination because the flights, the pilots went on strike. That travel insurance will cover you for that. So definitely make sure you have that when you book your next trip. All right. My name is Taria and I'm going into number four with who has booked basic economy, saving money, basic <laughs> economy flights. I'm guilty. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. And um, with that comes several restrictions. Um, no overhead space. Some airlines do not allow you to bring on a carry-on. Um, which can save you money in some spaces. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot exchange, cancel, anything with that flight. No choosing your own seats, none of that. 
And um, before I became a travel agent, personal story, before I became a travel agent, the travel agent that booked our group trip, I did not know anything about a basic economy flight. So um, my husband and I decided that we wanted to stay a few extra days after the group left. And because we were booked, um, which she failed to mention, um, because we were booked with basic economy flights, uh, we were... I mean, the only way that we could stay is if we rebooked a whole nother ticket for two extra days and it was a thousand dollars a piece. That's so. insane. A thousand dollars a piece. Wow. That is a that's lot of money. Yeah. yeah. That's so a whole new trip. Say- a lot of y'all don't realize with the basic economy how much restrictions you have where you may end up spending more money just to like yeah. fix things. You know, you couldn't even change your ticket. You had to buy a brand new ticket. Yeah. And, and even travel insurance doesn't even cover the basic economy flights if you try to cancel or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And number five is booking a run of house room. So a lot of people will look at, okay, this is the lowest price. Like let's say you're on a website and you see the lowest price and it says run of house. Some people don't know what run of house is. And with that, you have restrictions, just like a basic economy flight ticket. Run of house means when you show up, when you arrive to the hotel and you check in, you will get the room that they select for you. So whatever is available, that room could be, a room <laughs> that's facing a wall, like seriously, this happens. A room that's facing a wall, you don't have any view, you don't have an ocean view, you don't have a street view, you're facing a wall and you can't change it. You can't even say, okay, I'll pay additional to upgrade my room. You can't do that. Once you book a run of house room, you are locked in just like a basic economy flight ticket. You're locked in and you're going to get what you're going to get. So don't book a run of house. You pay room. for what you pay for. Oh, Sarah here with number six. Not letting your bank or your credit card company know that you are traveling abroad. The last thing you want to do is to be out making purchases and your car declined. Embarrassing. So, very embarrassing. So sad. So a good rule of thumb is to let your bank or your you know credit card company know that you are traveling so you won't be embarrassed. Yes, ma'am. Also, I got number seven for you, which is currency exchange. Best thing to do if you're traveling abroad is to go to your local bank or your credit union and exchange your money at your bank or your credit union because you're going to get the best rate versus exchanging it at the airport where they're going to charge you more because they got to make money too, but you're not going to get what your money's worth or the value of your money. So Google a thumb or get your bank, credit union, and also download a conversion, currency exchange conversion app. Because that will help you out as well to let you know the exchange rate for your dollar. Most yes, definitely. That's a good one. See, you just got a gem right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anyway, number eight. Number eight. Let's in. Let me hear it. Who is guilty of overpacking? I am. Oh. Guilty. Guilty. I'm learning. I'm learning because I don't want to pay for it anyway. Um, so overpacking is one of the biggest ways that we all get caught with those extras. We're spending a hundred dollars here, we're spending a hundred and eighty dollars um in some places. Please do not get caught by this because guess what? You're not gonna wear all that outfit. Exactly. No, you're not mm-hmm. on a three-day Girl. trip. <laughs> no, a three day trip. You need how many bags? Oh. What? <laughs> no, ma'am. No, sir. Bring that carry on. If you have a carry on, bring that one check bag and somehow figure out how to hold everything you need to hold in the allowed bags that you can carry. All right. Exactly. So, who wants to be packing around all that stuff? Like, I know sometimes oh I've stayed at two different, two different resorts on oh, one yeah. vacation, and I'm not trying to pack. And run, run around with all European these bags. Um, trips. All who mm-hmm. love those European trips, going on those trains, mm-hmm. cobble streets, people, cobble streets. <laughs> Number nine. Who has had this idea of booking all these tours and excursions? Everybody has, right? I was saying, yeah, I was say I think the number nine mistake is trying to do all the touristy stuff and not actually embracing the culture um, of the destination that you're in. I mean, you're not truly immersing yourself, immersing yourself into the culture. Um, Doing all the touristy things. I mean, there's lines, you're overpaying for this wonderful excursion Mm -hmm. and it's packed. I mean, especially in high travel season, it's packed. I mean, you're waiting and a lot of the times you gotta get up early just to do whatever you want. You can't sleep in. 
So find the little gyms, little off the beaten path restaurants and um, local bars. I mean, safe. I want to add that safe, <laughs> <laughs> but just truly inventing yourself because you can't really say you've been somewhere if you haven't really been there. So I like, went to Jamaica. I have a wonderful um, driver there and he's safe and can just truly immerse you and immerse you into the Jamaican culture. And speaking of which, your driver is amazing because like I've had a few clients use him and they were like, oh, oh, Gloria, you just use them. He's <laughs> amazing. He takes you to the local spots. You experience the culture. Yes. Gloria, mm -hmm. like, what did you do? Did you say you were like doing something with grandmas? What'd you say? Yes, I was selling coconuts. Wow. <laughs> selling coconuts with the grandmas in Jamaica. <laughs> How amazing. I can't wait to show you guys the video. See, like, yeah, you got to send me some footage. Look, literally. <laughs> Put yeah. it in the group. <laughs> right? Oh, well, oh my God, yes. Yeah. Um, that leads to number 10, having an ambitious itinerary. <laughs> I think from list one to nine leads to number 10. If you're able to do all that from one to nine, this should help you have an amazing trip. When we think of trips, we think about all the exciting things we can do, forgetting about how much money we're spending, the real reason why we're going on the vacation. Most of the time is to relax, mm. get ourselves together, yeah. come back, yes, and girl. do it again. <laughs> yes. so let's think about it and make sure, even though we want to explore, we want to do all the great stuff, Still make sure you're using the time, the money, all that stuff, and explore your resort. The right. resort has so much amenities, like the restaurants. I make sure I go to every restaurant. Mm -hmm. Taste it. I make sure I go to the water aerobics. Like They have oh. amazing stuff to do at the resort. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take advantage of it. Get yourself together so you can book us for your next trip. And after oh, all, you're paying all that money. That's right, girl. You said it. Right. <laughs> Enjoy the resort. Yeah. If you're taking a look, yeah. some people they'll come to us, our clients. They're taking a let's say a five day, a six day trip, and they're like, "I want to do something every single day." And we're like, "No, <laughs> no, you want to wake up and be early every day. It'll yeah. feel like work, like you're working. Like no, it's like yeah. 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 The the spot if they have one. I'm telling, it's a beautiful Ooh. experience. Yeah, that's true. Got to the spot. of relaxation. In yep. the itinerary, less clothes, more, 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 more sleep. Yeah, <laughs> right. Agreed. So that is the close of our top 10 mistakes that travelers make, and hopefully you can avoid them. But we can assure you can avoid them when you book with us. So we are available to book your dream vacations to the Caribbean, to Europe and beyond. We do family, we do couples, we do cruises. We do everything. So <laughs> send me an email to Adrian at breathlessgetaways.com. Also check the description box. I have everyone's email in the description box. You can reach out to your favorite travel advisor and we can start planning your dream getaway. Thank you so much. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye. I was going to say, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>